This week on The Wire, RBA reaffirms rate stability. Investors pile into the market and rental property pool has shrunk. G'day guys, my name is Tim Guest and welcome to The Wire, the week in real estate. We can get all the top stories happening this week in real estate, finance, investment and more. Kicking it off with our top story for this week, RBA reaffirms rate stability. So the Reserve Bank has reiterated that it does not intend to lift interest rates next year despite growing industry speculation of a rise. This week at the final board meeting of the year, the RBA left the cash rate at 0.1% and Governor Philip Lowe announced that the latest data and forecasts did not warrant an increase in the cash rate during 2022. Now Lowe says that despite the emergence of Omicron, leading indicators point to a strong recovery in the labour market. Job ads are at historically high levels and wages growth has picked up. The emergence of the Omicron strain is a new source of uncertainty, but it is not expected to derail the recovery, he says. Now, the economy is expected to return to its pre-Delta path in the first half of 2022. The board will not increase the cash rate until actual inflation is sustainably within the 2% to 3% target range, and this will require the labour market to be tight enough to generate wages growth that is materially higher than it is currently. Now, moving on to our next story, investors pile into the market. So investors are borrowing big to buy real estate as first home buyers take a back seat, but the market share of investors remain below historical averages. Now, economist Nerida Connorsby says investors haven't, have not been put off by rising property prices and are taking out new loans at near record levels. ABS lending indicators show loans to investors rose by 1.1% to just under $10 billion in the October quarter, which is the highest amount recorded in six years and more than double the recent low point of $4.23 billion at the start of the pandemic in May 2020. Now, ABS Head of Finance and Wealth, Catherine Keenan, says the value of new loan commitments for investor housing has grown for 12 consecutive months. While the value in investor loan commitments has grown 90% over the past year, the number of investor loans only accounted for 33% of all new loan commitments in October, she says. And now, guys, for our last story of the week, rental property pool has shrunk. So the number of investors entering the property market has increased, but it is not keeping up with those leaving the market, leading to a shortage of rental properties. So an exodus of property investors in previous years has resulted in the largest shortfall of rental homes being in seven years, and that's according to new data from the REA Group. It says small returns, tighter lending policies, and changes to landlords' rights has caused many investors to sell more than buy, resulting in a shrinking rental market. Now, Simon Presley from Propertyology says there are 20,000 fewer rental properties being advertised nationally compared to five years ago. Plain and simple, rental supply is a direct outcome of investor activity. It has always been that way, he says. Since 2015, investor participation rates in this country have been well short of demand. Now, the outcome is vacancy rates below 1.5% in six of the eight capital cities and in most regional areas. Well, guys, they are the top stories happening this week. Now, please don't forget to like, comment, and share this video, and follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. Have a great week, and remember, there's only one thing in life that makes a difference. That's action. Thanks a lot. Bye for now.